In this short video, I compare four H.264 encoding tools, the Miro Video Converter, Handbrake, MPEG Stream Clip, and Apple Compressor 4. During my tests, I considered suitability for encoding for iDevices, compressing interlaced SD footage like that ripped from a DVD, and freeform encoding for general purpose use. Let's start with the simplest tool. If all you need is to convert files into iDevice compatible format, look no further than the free Miro Video Converter. I converted two files using the iPhone 4 and iPad presets, and they loaded fine onto my iPod Touch 4 and iPad. Performance was pretty snappy, too, with Moreau converting my 93-second 720p test file for the iPad in 55 seconds. I like that Moreau converted my file to 1024 by 576 since the iPad has only 1024 horizontal pixels in landscape mode, but Moreau was a mite thrifty when it came to data rate, encoding at 1.3 megabits per second, compared to Handbrake, which encoded at 2.8 megabits per second at the same resolution. Moreau also used the baseline profile with no CABAC encoding, while Handbrake used the high profile with CABAC. On extremely high motion clips, you may notice some degradation in the Moreau encoded videos. For general purpose use, Moreau is a non-starter since it allows no configuration options whatsoever. If simple is your most important criteria, however, Moreau is it. Handbrake is the best tool in this review, with many positives, but a couple of notable negatives. Functionally, it offers DVD ripping and batch encoding. With a diverse range of iDevice encoding presets, and it runs on Windows and the Mac. It uses the high-quality X.264 codec with comprehensive configuration options, and a great preview function. In my tests, Handbrake produced the benchmark iPad file in 39 seconds, the fastest in the review, and the iPad and the iPod Touch files played without problem on these two devices. SD and HD encoding quality rivaled that produced by much more expensive commercial tools. And deinterlacing quality was scary good. What are the negatives? The program's interface can feel disjointed, with resolution controls completely separate from encoding controls, and Handbrake crashed several times during my tests, though it completed all tasks. And it only produces H.264 files, so had limited use as a general purpose encoder. Overall though, for H.264 encoding, Handbrake is a winner. MPEG Stream Clip hasn't been updated since 2008 and offers no presets of any kind. On the plus side, it's one of the few tools I've seen that can trim an H.264 clip without re-encoding. And it can output to DV, AVI, QuickTime, MPEG-4, including H.264, in any QuickTime compatible format installed on your system. Before you spend $29 on QuickTime Pro, check out MPEG Stream Clip. I first tested MPEG Stream Clip on an HP Windows workstation where I found H.264.